Hey friends, welcome back to Stocks and Crypto Plays. Today I'm talking again about SNDL, I'm doing a follow-up video. On my first video of SNDL I did about a week ago, I put it out as a buy rating on that video. You can go back and see SNDL was at $2.25 per share. Today it's at about $2.48 per share at the recording of this video. So that's an increase of 23 cents per share since I recommended it, and that's only been uh, about a week. And the other reason I'm doing this video is, as of today, just today, I increased my position in SNDL by approximately 25%. So I increased my shareholdings a nice large chunk, and I had been buying at lower prices I was buying when it was 225 but just today I bought up at today's prices 20 I've increased my position by 25% that's how bullish I am on SNDL and you should be too it's very exciting play this is not financial advice I am not a financial advisor having said that let's continue the video so I wanted to point out to you about SNDL the short interest and the daily short volume. So let me just pull this up real quick. The short interest from July um, 15th went from 2.9% all the way up to 10.1%. Big, huge increase in short interest. And then if we look at the corresponding daily short volume, since the short interest went up so high, the daily short volume went down, so that's good. They are still shorting SNDL, of course, and then there's other ways to short it that's being done as well, too. Um, but let's, let's take a look at just this piece of information. That's good news. So we don't want SNL, SNDL to be shorted more than it already is, and with the short interest going up, so dramatically, I mean, it's a huge spike in short interest. You can see the daily short volumes way down too. Just look, I'm posting these charts right here for you. Just take a look at it for yourself. The other thing that uh, I wanted to point out to you in this video um, is a little bit of technical analysis. There are 184 major institutions that own SNDL with approximately holdings of 17.59 million shares. That's 7.2% of the float held by major institutions. And that's up three from the previous quarter and up three institutions. And I believe more institutions are going to be buying that as we go forward. So that's good news. As far as price target goes you see right now we're a little bit under 250 per share based on four um, institutions giving out price analysis as experts these analysis will give us a highest price target that these four institution professionals are saying is a highest price target of seven dollar and 97 cents which in my opinion is way low, but hey, we'll take it because that would be huge gains for us at these prices, right? $7.97, the average $5.68, and the lowest price target they have for SNDL is $4.78. Think about that, friends. We're at two, approximately $2.48 per share. These major uh, analyses um, institutions with the professionals that they have on stocks are saying the lowest they're going to see SNDL as a price target is 478, 568 for mid range, and the highest they see is a price target is seven dollar ninety seven cents. Those prices, in my opinion, are way low. But if we get to those, even the lowest, you're making a lot of money. So. You know, you're not just listening to me as I am not a financial advisor, but I'm telling you what the experts are giving you price targets of so you can feel good about SNDL. So I wanted to make sure I brought that fact out as well. We have the earnings coming up fairly soon for SNDL as well. And I'm gonna just take a quick look what we have over there. And I, I was so excited to add to my position today and I just wanted to share it with everyone. A 25% increase in my position 
I hope you're able to increase yours as well. So as far as today goes, volume was a little lower. It was at 6 million versus average volume 9.76 million. So volume was down a bit today. We're pretty flat on pricing today. It's up after hours, about 1%. And then what we're looking forward to is August 12th, the earnings report, August 12th. So we're getting really close to that date. And as you see, AMC has been running up the last few days because everyone knows it's gonna be a good earnings report. It's been running up last few days in a row. AMC's up after hours as well. So what do you think is gonna to happen to SNDL these next few days leading up to the earnings report? Everyone knows the earnings report is gonna be good for SNDL. We have Elkana going to be putting in their revenue into the SNDL now. It's going to boost it probably $150 million in revenue added into that they didn't have the last uh, earnings report. So, plus more stores are, have been open this quarter. Um, any type of shutdowns have been in the rear view window, rear view window for SNDL. Uh, retail has been up and running. People are spending money even though um, inflation's up. People are still spending money in the US as well in Canada. They're buying alcohol and they are buying cannabis. So it's gonna be a good earnings report for SNDL. And this is a short window of time because the earnings is coming up quick and you know the stock's gonna be running up, inching up, inching up, inching up towards those earnings. So now's the time to buy. That's why I'm putting this follow-up video so that you can make some money. I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, but I increased my position 25% today at today's prices. And I was already having a nice bag of SNDL at lower prices. So that's pretty much it, friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to hit like, subscribe, and add notifications. And please leave a positive comment. Let's encourage each other. I appreciate you all so much. And I'm going to be doing more SNDL, SNDL videos in the near future because it's just such a great stock and I feel so great about the company's future. Have a great day. It's going to be so bad. Okay.